don't believe it. A product of the successor project. Beaten by a flesh and blood man like you. It seems you are the true successor of the boss. The story about soldier genes. Perhaps it was true after all. You are the true successor. I don't know what you're babbling about, Gene. How do I stop Metal Gear from launching? Don't bother. Once the launch countdown has started, there's no way to stop it. Get out of here, Snake. And take this with you. What's this? The equipment, personnel, and funds I amassed in secret to build Army's Heaven. All the data is stored on that film. No one else knows about it. Why are you giving me this? Because you and I are the same. Someday, you'll be glad you have it. The one who fights and survives must carry on the legacy. Such is our fate. Go, Snake. I've said everything I need to. You are the one who will inherit my genes. You are the true successor. Be loyal to yourself. Go forth. And find your own calling. Jean! Sokolov, do you read me? The countdown for Metal Gear has started. The control panel is locked out and won't respond. How do I stop it? I can see from here that the control circuit has been locked. But Metal Gear's solid rocket motor does not have a post-ignition fuel control mechanism. Once it goes into launch mode, there is no way to stop it. I don't care if I have to destroy this whole base, as long as it stops the nuke. If you can dismantle the Metal Gear unit itself before ignition, you may have a chance. The Metal Gear unit? You mean that thing that's attached to the missile warhead? Metal Gear is no mere nuclear missile. It is jettisoned from the booster at 3,000 feet above the target and parachutes down to the ground. After that, it launches its payload of miniature nuclear warheads. By destroying the Metal Gear unit before takeoff, you can prevent a nuclear strike even if you can't prevent the launch. However, the Metal Gear's designers anticipated this, gave it armor thicker than a tank's. And should the rocket itself be damaged, the entire silo could explode. Looks like I'm about to be burnt to a crisp. But I can't sit here and let the world be destroyed. Snake! What are you doing? Those weapons won't do any good. Get out of here before you're caught up in the blast and killed. You risked your life to save our motherland. Now it's our turn to defend your country. You've given us a real reason to fight, big boss. All right. Metal Gear is on its way! You did it, Snake. You succeeded in destroying Metal Gear. 
Metal Gear has deviated from its course and is in free fall. Sensors show that the nuclear warhead launch tubes have been shut. Well done, Snake! Snake? Impressive. I never imagined they'd have a facility like this right underneath the CIA. Back when Fox was around, I wouldn't have been able to sneak down here. I've been sent to meet you, Mr. Director. And who are you? My name is Adam. Remember me now? <laughs> At last, we meet in person. Adam. The triple spy for the Philosophers. So you're Ocelot. You say you're here to meet me? That's right. We confirmed that Metal Gear entered launch mode. The first wave of nukes should arrive here within 30 minutes. I'm aware of that. I'm heading for the shelter as soon as I can. But I can't leave these documents here. Documents? Related to the Philosophers? Yes. A list of members, along with data. Locations of portions of the legacy stashed around the world. So long as we have these, even if the United States does perish in an atomic storm, the Philosophers will be born again. Splendid. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. What the hell are you doing? You're not planning to betray the Philosophers, are you? Betray? No, I'm not going to betray them. I'm going to end them. Then we'll take back what you stole from us. We will carry on the spirit of the true Patriot. The true Patriot? It's all part of our plan to make the world she envisioned a reality. And so, I've come for the other half of the legacy. Snake, I heard they gave you quite a welcome back home. Campbell, you healing up all right? Yep, nearly good as new. Can't wait to get out of here though. That nurse is an unholy terror. It's all your fault for pushing a wounded man too hard. What about Frank, the child soldier from Mozambique? He's alive, though he's a mess both mentally and physically. I guess he'll be in the hospital for a while. After that, I don't know. He may never be able to go back to leading a normal life. So I hear they did a cover-up job on Fox's rebellion. Yeah, they're saying I was sent out to take down a Soviet missile base. That's it. Can't say I blame them. After all, how do you share the news that the U.S. homeland was facing nuclear attack? Don't beat yourself up over this, Snake. You did your country a great service. You deserve that medal. No one knows that better than you and I. Yeah. So what'll you do now, Snake? I don't know. But I've realized something. What's that? I'm not living unless I'm in battle. So I have to find my own reason to fight. I have to pass on what's been handed down to me. Take care, Snake. We'll meet again someday. Well, I'll be damned. So it was you who was feeding me information. Yes, the DCI's death should pass a suicide. 
They'll claim he did it because he felt responsible for the theft of Metal Gear. We can look forward to a major shakeup on the seventh floor at Langley shortly. It looks as if everything is going exactly the way you wanted it. When the DCI saw the trajectory data you supplied and found out he was the target of the nuclear strike, he brought the philosopher's documents right to me. Yes, we should have known Gene was serious about launching those nukes. Seems our insurance policy came in handy after all. He did quite well. And now, I've got the legacy. Is that all part of your script too? Using him in the Fox unit like that. Only you could have pulled it off. But, you won't be using me anymore. Battle data. From the perfect soldier. Genes. Genome? I see. Intriguing. I'll help you with the project. But on one condition. I want him to join us. Yes, big boss. So that we can become the Patriots.